olasılıklar ve belirsizlikler fiziği kuantum, adeta minik bir taş gibi klasik bilimin mükemmelliğine çarparak yüzeyini çatlatacaktı. Bu andan itibaren pek çok spekülasyon ve polemik başlayacaktı. Bilim dünyası ikiye bölünecek, özellikle Einstein ve Niels Bohr arasında tarihe geçecek tartışmalar yaşanacaktı. Who is right, Einstein or Bohr? It's one of the great debates in, in early quantum theory. So we're talking about over 100 years ago now at the birth of quantum theory. And the reason quantum theory was a, was a struggle back then to comprehend, for even for people like Einstein, is that it's a, it's a completely different way of looking at nature at a fundamental level to what went before, so what we might call Newtonian physics. One of the most fascinating things is that quantum theory de de uh, deals with probability. So the, the basic rule in quantum theory um, is if I put a particle here, then where is it going to be at some later time? That's, that's physics, that's all physics is. Start with this, what is it going to look like at some later time? Well, quantum theory will tell you not precisely what's going to happen in a sense, but it w you can ask the question, what's the probability I'll find the particle over here sometime? And you might get an answer, well, the probability in, in this region of space is 20%, but maybe there's an 80% probability it'll be somewhere else. The, the whole problem of interpreting quantum theory really is that. So what does that mean? Um, where did these probabilities come from? Is it really true, as Einstein said, that, that God doesn't play dice? Buna karşı Niels Bohr ve ekibi formüllerde bir sorun olmadığını, evrenin yapısının gerçekten böyle şaşılacak şekilde indeterminist olduğunu düşünüyorlardı. Ve adeta Einstein'a Tanrı ne yapacağını bilir, sen ona öğretme şeklinde o tanrı ve zar atma fenomeni üzerinden kendi cevaplarını veriyorlar. 